So hi dear Libra, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Libra Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing is uh, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing the light is fucked up. I don't know what is happening with the light, so please bear with me. And fourth thing this is a reading for first till the tenth of August. So let's start your partner's current feelings for you right now, Libra. Let's see what's happening. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are uh, Libra. Queen of Swords, okay, somebody is very closed off. Queen of Pentacles, you might be dealing with two people at the same time, might be. Somebody is very closed off. They are not telling you exactly what they are feeling for you or the vice versa. Let me clarify the Queen of Swords or somebody is very, very clear and blunt that this is what they want. Otherwise, they are out. Okay, let me clarify. Queen of Swords, let's see what's happening here. Page of Wands and the Death and the Two of Swords. Okay, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. Somebody feels like having a brand new beginning with you. Just a brand new beginning with nothing from the past. Okay, so this is someone, okay, who stopped talking to you. And they're on the crossroads. What to do about the situation? You know, they are very closed off and they are kind of pissed with you, you know. And might be they were a friend. There was a friendship energy only between you guys and that ended. You know, they ended something with you because they were on the crossroads. They feel like they're on the crossroads about the ending that happened between you guys. They feel like talking to you, but they are not doing it because they're closed off and kind of pissed off as well. Hmm. They're on the crossroads though. What to do? What to do about the situation? Not making any sense to themselves. Cool. Trying to be patient, trying to heal. This is what they are feeling. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Scorpio and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what you feel for this person, Libra, your feelings for them. Two of Pentacles, you are juggling constantly. You, you do love this person, Libra. Don't lie to yourself. You do, you do have emotions for this person and you're constantly juggling. What to do about the situation? You might be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You're constantly juggling. What should I do about the situation? Whether to let them go, whether to stay with them, whether, whether to just move on, whether to you know wait for this person. What to do about the situation? You are on the crossroads. Definitely, you are very confused regarding the situation. Let me clarify. You're juggling. You're constantly juggling back and forth you're like one day you are so much into them and the next day you don't want them in your life okay let me clarify the two of pentacles eight of swords emperor and the queen of pentacles okay temperance you're trying to be very patient with yourself okay you're feeling like you are mentally bounded you know you have decided that you are going to take a decision only when the time will be right you know you have decided that you are going to heal yourself you are going to be independent you are going to focus on your work your job your career your personal healing then only might be you will be able to you know make sense of things right now you're juggling you know you're trying to make sense of things but nothing is making sense to you oh my god you're trying to heal yourself and you are putting a poker face and you're like po putting a poker face and you're quite serious about yourself it's like i am going to be very serious i'm going to be very honest with myself the thing is that i'm going to heal myself heal everything and then only i will decide yeah okay got it this is what you're feeling but you're constantly thinking about this person, no matter how hard you're trying to let this person go out of your life, nothing is happening. No. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cool. Let's see what this person wants from you, Libra. Nine of Pentacles, okay, and Ten of Swords. Okay, they want to be independent. Oh my God. Okay, I feel they want some kind of ending and they want to focus on themselves right now might be it's a very strange thing so might be this person wants you to be stable in, within your life so that they can go ahead with you or the the, the, th the other thing is that they want to end things with you right now because might be right now is not the right time you know to get married or to be committed or to be in a relationship or uh, they are just trying to focus on themselves you know trying to be independent self-dependent let me clarify the nine of pentacles they just want to be independent and they just want to fly high okay got it they want to be single. Okay. Got it. Nine of Pentacles. It's clarified by Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. So, oh, Page of Cups. My God. See, the thing is, mm, they want to be friends with you again. You know? They want to be single. They want to be just friends with you and they uh, don't want to rush into anything. You know, this person carries love for you. You know? They want to rush towards you and they want to offer you love. But, something is stopping them from doing that. They want to start from friendship level 
carrying this love uh, with them but staying single if you are getting me if it is making sense to you what i mean to say is this person wants to be in love with you but from a friendship level you know and they want to stay single so that they can be open to other options as well and this is someone who is younger to you might be or they have younger vibes you know they have vibe of a child they have vibe of a kid so they want to restart everything with you from a friendship level and stay single till they find what they really want okay this is what they want exactly right now at this point so cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius and taurus virgo capricorn let's see what you want from this person you are feeling you, what you want from this person or this relationship ten of wands you want to drop the weight you would just want to you just want them to wait might be for uh, for what i don't know okay you want to drop the weight drop the responsibilities drop everything that's stopping this connection to work out or this relationship to ship to work out might be okay let me clarify the ten of wands let's see let's clarify the ten of wands king of swords seven of wands and five of okay wands three of pentacles you want to do team work in this connection you know i feel you want to be very clear and honest with them and you just want to protect yourself from any kind of drama any kind of drama any kind of bullshit any kind of you know negative negative energies anything that's creating huge conflicts and fights between you guys okay you just want to drop this you know you just want to drop this responsibility this heaviness this burden some situation and you want to cut the crap cut the drama out of your life and you want to take a stand for yourself i don't know what that means but this is what you want you don't want any kind of drama in your life you don't want any kind of stupidity in your life and you're like i just want to be a team player i just want to work on this connection but you have to you know um give me the equal give and take of energy then only we can stop this drama this fights and yeah all the bullshit that is happening in this connection i go it's it's kind of a burdensome situation right now very heavy and very burdensome situation you want to cut the crap but i don't know if you are able to do that or not yeah you want to come out of this drama so uh, aries is sagittarius and gemini libra aquarius yeah let's see what's coming towards you till the 10th of august libra let's see king of swords clarity some kind of clarity mental clarity and i feel you are quite confused right now both of you might be but some kind of clarity and truth is going to come towards you see the reading started with uh, the queen of swords and it's going to end with king of swords so my i i feel both of you are a, ma a couple made in heaven kind of energy but uh, both of you are quite adamant right now mm. but i do see some kind of clarity and communication is coming truth is coming finally you are going to see the truth very clearly and honestly let me clarify the king of swords you know the devil the wheel of fortune and the three of cups oh my god and the page of cups gosh okay some kind of clarity regarding a third party situation is going to come here i feel i feel there will be less drama there will be less conflicts and there will be less of obsessiveness and slowly but surely there will be a reconciliation and the truth is that the, that uh, both of you want this reconciliation and if there's a third party situation here i feel like like the third party is uh, getting removed from your side from their side i don't know okay this is very strange so i feel there will be less drama you are cutting the drama you are cutting the obsessiveness you are cutting the crap and slowly but surely you guys are moving towards reconciliation a very happy and celebration time and beautiful time coming towards you with this particular person you are going to cut the drama cut the negativity cut all the obsessiveness and if there's a third party situation that will also be removed slowly but surely i don't say it's going to happen till the 10th of august it's going to take time for some of you 3 weeks for some of you 3 months but it's going to surely happen there will be reconciliation between you guys and you guys are going to finally realize that you guys are going to that you guys are made for each other kind of energy right hmm yep but you will be very clear and honest you know there will be a total clarity in this uh, connection what you want you want this person or the, uh, the other person might be or or uh, you want to reconcile or not but for most of you there will be a reconciliation but not right now in the future okay let's see what is the guidance for you could be dealing with a capricorn or cancer pisces scorpio and gemini libra aquarius let's see what's the guidance for libra air forms clear and honest communication heart to heart conversation back and forth conversation face to face communication is required here 
you know and if there are any secrets they should be revealed if there is anything if you are sabotaging yourself if you are sabotaging the connection that should be revealed by the communication that can help you get out of the situation very soon very very soon okay so thank you so much for connecting i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste